Would you like to fly high in the sky and glide throughout the small lands world? Well, you absolutely can. All you need is a wingsuit. But to be able to get the easiest wingsuit in the game, you need some quite complex materials when you talk to Drostana. For the actual gliding, you only need the chest plate and it's called the regal plate. That's the first chest plate you need to get you started on flying around the world. It requires insect wings, chitin, textile patches and herptile leather. The last two being the more complex ingredients needed in this armor set. What have I told you? They're actually a lot easier than you think to actually get these materials so you can start flying off in the sky with a really solid piece of armor to get you started. If you want to make the textile patch, you need to get your hands on a loom and spindle. And the core ingredient to make this and learn it is silk. For the flint shears, you're going to need, well, flint, and if you're a bit confused on some of those ingredients, make sure to watch my resource guide video. I'll link it in uh, the top right corner for you. Either way, this tells us we need silk. And to get silk, we need to go down into this forest area right here. Or you can go to the Greylands as well. But it's really dangerous down there. But there is a way to kind of bypass this and find easy cocoons. So I'm just going to show you. I'm going to glide down here. Show you how nice flying is as well. These wings I'm riding on right now are an upgraded version, but to get the very first version, honestly, that suits you for ages. So you don't need to get these right away. You can get the bee suit quite early on if you actually do bang it out like this. So let's go get some easy silk. And you come slightly down here to like where you would think the entrance of the Greylands is where the spiders are. So we come down here, we've got a little map reference here. So we're aiming for Lysandra, which if you're doing the story and listening to the NPCs, should pop up on your map. If you haven't, then I guess just follow me, really. So you're looking for an area like this. Depending on the season, it may look a little different to you, but mainly it looks like it's going down here. But we don't want to go down there, okay? We're going to head up to the fence post because there's a slightly different way we can take. That means you can avoid all the tarantulas and demon spiders and widows and all of that so we're going up to here where the garlic is we still have the fence just in the corner of our eyes there and now you're going to see there's like a little bit down here we continue following this up to the blackberries see there's some blackberries there continue going on past the blackberries around this big curly looking log and there is uh, another path here look at this this is the path we want to take right next to this fence. So just to double check the map, I am right there in between two NPCs, actually, funny enough. And there is a wasp here, which you can totally avoid. But I would say if you get in the flint scissors, you've probably got a flint uh, spear by now. So you can probably take things out like this quite easily. You might want to kill wasps anyway, because they both give chitin and wings, which you both need for the set of armor. But anyway, we're going to follow this wall down here. There is one instance you might come across a spider, but if you just keep an eye out, be very vigilant, you will avoid it. And honestly, you can run away from most things in this game. You just have to be a bit savvy with it. So we're looking for this. That's there. Go down here. Now, normally it would be where you find the spider can be roughly around here. So just be careful. There's a bit further down, you can find a spider. I can see it on my right hand side, you can see it right? So we're going to avoid that totally, you don't need to go anywhere near that spider and it moves up and around here so you can totally avoid this spider which we are going to do and you're going to see if we go over here a little further under this tree there is candles and this is where Lysandra is, there's going to be skulls and this is where you know uh, you're at the right place so we go straight in here and you'll probably be worried about like this little spiders in here right but don't be worried about them don't be concerned they're actually really friendly and if you get your scissors out equip your scissors you can see all these little cocoons down here and we can actually harvest these and if we harvest these they will give us silk and it's easy silk honestly loads of silk cocoons here absolutely tons these little spiders are really friendly you don't have to worry about them at all they're just going to stare at you they're friendly 
but that is loads of free silk you can get started with that is really easy and simple you don't get contested with the to get the silk so just another little map reference we're on top of Lysandra's place get silk from her den then you can go up the same way we went down and it's completely safe that's some safe silk right there after I finished uh, farming this little area and a little bit down here as well there's a couple cocoons down here you can get I got a whole stack and more so I got about 41 silk from just this endeavor right here I've got some eggs to eat as well so like I said this is really easy silk you'll now have enough to make like your loom and your stations as well that only takes 10 so that's going to leave you with 31 left so you're going to have plenty of stuff to make the loom and spindle you also need to make the tannery which just needs flint and refined wood very easy stuff to come across to get the herptile leather now you've built a loom you'll be able to make textile patches for fiber and silk you'll get one at a time so there you go it costs a lot of fiber but fiber is easy to get if you're struggling to remember the costs of what you need go into your codex and look for drastana she will show you everything you need to make the set Remember, if you want to fly, you only need the chest plate. You don't need to bother with everything else. And do remember, when you have been killing the little geckos down on the beach, it's not the hide you need. You need to actually convert it into the leather. So get your hide and bring it over to the tannery and convert it from hide to leather. It only is one for one, so it doesn't really achieve much, but making it a bit more refined, I suppose. And that's what you'll need for the armor set. Now all you need to do is go back to Dristana and talk to her and get her to build you the chest plate. And after that you should have a brilliant and most beautiful chest plate that you can have and use and it will enable you to be able to glide. If you want to glide all you need to do is double tap spacebar so jump and then glide. There we go. And it relies on stamina. Once your stamina runs out it doesn't fully drop you but you'll go a lot slower than you were previously. Now this is the best wing set to start out with and the most easiest one to get to begin with and that is how to get your beginner wing set so you can fly and glide however it is not the only one you can get in the game there is actually an improved version i am wearing right now that actually enables you to have a longer flight period because it uses less stamina these are called the iron wing breastplate and they require some quite hardcore materials and a culling of a boss to be able to get the sapphire wings if you want to start that quest you need to go and talk to nox in the gray lands and you're gonna have to kill the black hornet which i highly recommend you bring some poison antidotes by making an alchemy table so your apothecary table make some poison antidote or resistant brew was enough for me and then you'll want a good old spear because winged creatures are really weak to spears in this game once you've got those requirements and a decent set of armor you can go and take it down for a better wing suit and again it's a case of you only need the chest plate to be able to fly you don't need nothing else so you can equip it with other things if you like that are stronger or have better cold protection as i have done because i found uh, this bone set's probably more worth it to me than having the rest of the other set so yeah that's how to get your very first wingsuit and how to get the upgrade as well i hope this video helped you out getting it and uh, yeah your life's gonna change a lot in this game once you are able to fly and glide because especially if you have a tree house you can go up the branches or just from here and fly really really far out to places you need to go so you can cover a lot of space and destinations to get to places if you have a good tree camp by just gliding there especially if it's lower down you can cover a lot of distance so yeah i hope this video helped you out and was informative if it was keep an eye on the channel maybe give a sub because i will re be releasing more small lands content just for you but anyway thank you for watching i love you and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye I